What's going on everybody? Isaac here with Embedded Nature and today we're going to be reviewing a smart home controller that I was asked to take a look at. It is the Smart Home Control by Brilliant. So this device simply replaces the light switch in your home. It integrates with a large list of products to control your light bulbs, motion sensors, cameras, your door locks, change the temperatures in your home. It will integrate with your voice assistants, Siri, Google, and Amazon Alexa. Out of the box, the Brilliant Smart Home Controller should have everything you need to get started. Minus a screwdriver and maybe some pliers. You'll get a manual in there, the faceplate, the base, some extra wires, and some wire ties. The base system is the brains of the operation and it's what sits inside of your light switch. Once it's installed, you put the faceplate on and you're good to go. Ensure that you have a neutral ground wire in your home before you start the installation process. Most modern homes in the United States should have a neutral wire. Once you think you have everything installed properly, the smart home control has a dedicated button to make sure that the light switch works before you put the faceplate on it. As soon as you connect the faceplate, you'll see the brilliant smart panel light up and after you've connected to the Wi-Fi, you'll start an update. You know, my device did take a while to update at first, um, but it was nice because I was still able to control the lights as that was updating in the background. The first thing you'll notice is how nice the display really is. Brilliant did a fantastic job providing a crisp and very responsive display. The model I'm demonstrating in this video is the one switch control panel. Brilliant also offers a two switch, three switch, and four switch panel and they all have the same 5 inch crisp LCD display at 720 by 1280 resolution. So before we move on to the brilliant interface, I just want to point out how nice it is that this smart home controller has a privacy shutter. Brilliant allows you to connect multiple devices in your home and have them act like an intercom. So when you do need a little privacy or you're worried about security concerns, you can just flip the shutter and you're good to go. So the home screen of the control panel offers quick gestures to click to get access to your lights and some of your scenes as well as the intercom. You can swap those out for different scenes that you create. There's a bunch of different settings in here. You can adjust some of the device information you have, how the controls operate, change up the home screen. Under the display tab, you can adjust the brightness and set your time zone and manage all your photos and art. Keep in mind, you can also manage your art inside of the app. In the advanced tab, over here, you can set root SSH access to be able to log into your device. I haven't tried that out yet, but maybe there's some interesting things you can do. I also think that's an option for having Brilliant help you out if you get stuck. Brilliant does offer some other privacy aside from the shutter screen. You can set a password to make sure kids or something don't jump into your app and mess with all of your devices. So you can lock the configuration and choose whether or not to even allow video access. Here's a list of all of the different integrations you can do with Brilliant. The newest one is HomeKit. HomeKit, as you may know, is Apple's version for IoT, built right into the iOS ecosystem and allows you to connect with Siri and have her do different things for you. The Brilliant controller does offer motion sensors, so you can have scenes trigger based off of motion or have it light up anytime it notices somebody's in the room. And there is a few different gestures, um, control your light, and some of the gestures can quickly turn off the lights or quickly turn them on. So the main section of the control panel is the lights. I have mine synced to SmartThings, so it's picked up my LED strips and some of the integrations I have set up around the house. It doesn't allow you to have a set of anything else that I could find. It's either lights or other. 
So other would be like my TV, different motion sensors, those kinds of things end up in there. I haven't used any of the scenes, but essentially a scene is an action that happens. If you're familiar with IoT, the if then do this type of thing. So the scenes were a little more basic than I thought, but it is nice that they have them in there. Pretty much it's set up to switch on motion or a time of day based off of the timer. And I was surprised that I could only really change my art. So maybe it might have been I was missing a certain device that it wants. But I do really enjoy the controls of the lights. Having an all on switch, all off switch, it is really nice. When you do set up your light switch, for the control panel, you can decide on if that switch is a potentiometer versus just on or off. So I was pretty impressed to see that. The home screen is where you'll see all the different rooms that you have laid out. And then you can go into each room and adjust the settings for whatever device you have. It would be nice to see the home screen and the scene screen kind of mix into each other so you aren't touching twice to get to a specific room. And then there are alarms that you can set for any day of the week. So as I mentioned, the Brilliant Smart Home Controller does a great job to support all of the different IoT devices in the field. I'm sure Brilliant will continue to add integrations for all the different products that are out there as the IoT field continues to grow. This is the first time that I've been able to use Apple HomeKit and it is pretty nice to just be able to say, Hey Siri, turn on my lights and have her take care of that. I have had the Brilliant Smart Home control system for a while now. The few updates that have shown up have mainly just been security patches. It will be nice to see them to continue to add more features to the software and allow more customization similar to smart things in HomeKit. With the thousands of IoT devices out there, it's pretty nice to have a control panel that can take care of everything for you. I'm sure if you're a little more tech savvy, you could grab an iPad or a tablet and just build your own IoT device manager on SmartThings or some of the other platforms that are out there. But what Brilliant has done has enabled people that maybe are more realty focused or they are property managers to come in, set up the home pretty simply, turn any room into a smart room and create a lot of integrations for your house to be able to just run to the panel, turn on your light, turn off your light, do it in your app. It all is easy to work with. With that being said, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. I would really appreciate it if you would like, comment, subscribe. And also, I just opened up a Discord channel. Um, I want to engage with you guys more, so check the link in the description. Please join me. Let's have a conversation. Hope to see you guys soon. Thank you. Peace.